Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LJ Law Family Law Channel. My name is Bonnie Leonardo, owner of LJ Law and your host. Today's question comes to us today from Alexa and she wants to know if she is unable to refinance her home, does she have to sell it during the course of a divorce? Before I get started answering that question, I want to remind you that if you have questions about this topic or any other family law topic, please don't hesitate and go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss your particular situation. So Alexa is going through a divorce. She wants to keep her home, but she is unable to qualify to refinance the home. She wants to know if she has to sell the home and what else can she possibly do if she can't refi and she wants to keep the house. When we are dealing with a divorce and we have a marital property, the parties have to equitably divide the equity that is in that house. Uh, most of the times, one of the parties will refinance the home and then buy the other party out, thus giving the other party half of the equity of the home. Um, or if neither party is able to refinance, then the property will be sold and the proceeds will be equally divided amongst the couple. In situations, especially during these current times when the uh, housing market is so um, volatile right now, uh, it is difficult for the parties to refinance because of the interest rate being so high. It is difficult for the parties to sell their homes because the prices are going down. Oftentimes what we do have is parties making agreements for one party to stay in the house pending uh, the change in the economy, pending the time that it takes for one party to qualify to refinance the home. If the parties are in agreement for that, that can be written up in the divorce decree that one of the parties is to remain in the home for two years, let's say, until such time as that party qualifies to refinance the home. And at that time, then that party will give half of the equity to the other party that is not keeping the home. But without an agreement, the courts will either allow the parties to refinance the home or if neither party is able to or willing to refinance, then the courts will mandate that the house be sold and the equity in the property equally divided between the parties. I hope that this has answered this question. If you want to discuss this further, please go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you know somebody who can benefit from this information, please share this video with them. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.